harvest time, it's hot outside, got soil in my mane We work all day and we sleep all night and we wake up to the same Now life ain't always easy out here working on the range But we get by, yeah, but Lord Could use a night or two of having fun So we bust our flanks and the work gets done come setting sun And ponies gather over where the apple cider runs And we get loud we get loud, we're singing all the way down south in Appaloosa when all the town comes round. All the way down south in Appaloosa, darling, it's going down. Now, Mom always told me that no matter what they say, the harder that you work all day, the harder you can play. So grab your shovel, grab some boots, and buck a bale of hay. Yeah, you'll be fine. And in the evening you will find that even though it's quiet When we're in our working shoes The hoof stuck moving dirt all day can really bust a move If you're looking for a party, well I tell you you should stay Because I swear we'll blow those city folk away Singing all the way down south in Appaloosa When all the town comes round down south in Appaloosa, darling, it's going down. Raise this roof, raise this roof, one, two, three, four, and now we're gonna raise this roof. Yeah, hey, raise this roof, raise this roof One, two, three, four And now we're gonna raise this roof Yeah, raise this roof, raise this roof One, two, three, four And now we're gonna raise this roof Raise this roof, raise this roof One, two, three, four And now we're gonna raise it Hey buddy, what's up? Ultramag64 here. And today, guys, it is time to bring you yet another fantastic episode of the My Little Pony game from Game Loft. So, last time we left off, I was beating Tyrix's butt, and uh, as you can plainly see by the giant tree castle thing, I uh, successfully destroyed Tyrix. I also recorded it. Unfortunately, I uh, didn't record the audio. or uh, Well, I didn't keep in the audio because I forgot to turn off my uh, tablet's built-in mic. And so you can hear me listening to a podcast while tapping away at Tyrek, and it's not very good quality. So I was like, ah, I might want to take that out. So yeah, I did. You'll never know what I was listening to, ever. Spoiler alert, it was about technology, because I'm a nerd. I'm a horrible, horrible nerd. Who likes horses? I don't like horses, I love horses. <laughs> oh, no, here. <gasps> MUD! <laughs> if only, if only I had money. How much you cost? <sighs> oh, but if I do, oh man, I can't believe I'm actually considering this. Oh, I hate you, Game Love, so much. You make me want to buy things. Oh, it hurts my wallet. Cause I could do it. I could totally do it. But if I do, then it just makes it that much harder to get soaring down the road. Oh, drop my stylus. Grab that. But it makes getting soaring much harder down the road. Oh, do I go for the short-term goal or the long-term goal? Or do I just buy both? No, let's not do that because that would be a lot of money, I think. Hang on, how much would that be? Let's see, what is soaring? Like a hundred and something? And it'd be $9.99. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, where would I put you even? Get rid of these guys. Where would you even go? But Soren. But Mod. Oh, the little voice inside my head saying, but Magnus, you, you know you want mod. You know you want her. And I keep telling myself, I know! Oh, I've been a, I've been such a good boy, too. Oh, 
I could totally treat myself, although I just treated myself to a bunch of comic books. Oh, I feel like such a nerd. <laughs> oh, darn it. Uh, how much do I have in my stupid bag? I, I can't believe I'm considering this. And yes, you'll hear my phone go off because I have to see how much money I've got. Free. I mean, it's $1.99, so it's not like it's going to break the bank, but I like to keep myself regulated. Oh. Oh, I hate you all. I hate all of you horses. You make me buy... You make me have unwise spending decisions. Alright, hang on. Sure. Sure. Mod, where are you? Here. Alright. Now I'm gonna censor a bunch of this, because you don't need to see any of it. So don't even think about... Do, do, do. Dude. There we go. All right. Give me my. <laughs> All right, I hate everything. I hate everything now. Mod, you're going over here. For right now, Mod, you're going right there. All right, how much? Do you, how long are you gonna? Oh, I don't even get to see her on this episode. That sucks. No, I'm not spending twenty-three more gems. Swindled enough out of me. You knew. You knew. I bet you the Gameloft guys were like, Oh, hey, that Magnus guy. He really likes him some mod. Here, let's put her on the, on the store for like 90 gems. Even though, to be honest, I would have paid a whole lot more. Ha! So there. You guys are the ones that lost. I won. Because honestly, I would have paid 150. So there. I win. And no, I'm not just telling myself that. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Also, I, I I think we yeah we bought the grape stand together, so I don't need to tell you guys that. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, is Scoots up to two? Yeah, Scoots up to two stars. I ain't bothering with you, Scoots. You do your own thing, girl. Oh yeah, we gotta buy a large barn, which you can't do now. Hang on, I'm still not done with that? I'm, uh, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Well, I could skip it. I totally could skip it. That purchase was so worth it. Love me some mod. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. I still hate it, but I'm happy. Alright, well, now that... Tyrick's kind of gone. Hmm. I guess we're back to waiting. And stockpiling things. Let's just keep stockpiling shards of harmony. I guess I should probably, you know, uh... Try and get the, uh, last harmony stone, shouldn't I? <laughs> that, should, that should probably be a logical goal. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a good idea. Can we go in the cave? Oh. Cave no access of all. That's not a word. That's bad grammar right there. I don't know what you're talking about. I have great grammar. Also, uh, for those of you who are wondering and are like, Hey, Magnus, I love when you do pony content. I want more pony content in my life. Well, good sir or madome. I have a uh, recently uploaded a video, yesterday actually, um, 
of my thoughts on season one and or season five, episode one and two, the cutie map episode. So if you're like, you know what? What was this? Oh no, that's not Doctor Who. Foof. I was like, what? When did I? When did this magic happen? But yeah, if you wanna, you know, see my most likely rather controversial thoughts about uh, season opener, then uh, there you go. There will be a card that shows up that you can click on your mobile device or computer device and watch my short video about me rant and rave about Starlight Glimmer. Spoiler alert, I don't hate her. Then again, I don't think many people did, because I don't hear a lot of outrage about it. Then again, I haven't looked. Because the, the hard thing about doing a My Thoughts on every single episode of... Um, the MLP season is that I can't look at other people's thoughts about it until after I've already done the video. Because that way my, you know, thought process isn't swayed or, um, you know, influenced in any way, shape, or form. I'm basically going in fresh with just my thoughts. Because what I used to do is I would watch, like, um, Digibrony, uh, Golden Fox, Silver Quill, um, you know, I'd watch those guys, and I noticed that they would, like, um, kind of influence how I looked at the episode as well. Um, granted, now, that's not to say that it's a bad thing to look at other people when you're, you know, looking for something, um, like, wanting an opinion on something. Uh, it's always good to collaborate, because sometimes people will, uh, you know, think, everyone thinks a different way about things, you know, and they, um... Sometimes it's a good thing to uh, collaborate with someone because they'll shed light on something that you may have missed or overlooked or, you know, think they'll think a different way than you do about something and uh, kind of give you more input on their side of the story. I guess it's like bats, you know? Everybody's got a different side to things, I guess. I could have simplified that a lot more. Oh well. I also notice that. I do that a lot, as I overcomplicate things way too much, and I think way into things. Although I, may, I, I might be wrong, but I think that's why people like that um, when I do my thoughts on stuff, because they're like, um, you know, he goes way too into way too much detail, but darn it all, it's, it's just so solid. I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Personally, I think that I don't go into enough detail, and I miss a few things. Uh, especially like Silver Quill when he does a, um, oh, what's it, what is this stupid series called? Um, Aftermath, uh, videos. He does like, uh, like he did for Equestria Goals and whatnot. He bring, he brought to a light a lot of things that I was like, huh, you know, I never thought of that. Like, uh, for instance, uh, Sunset Shimmer's plan, when you get down and think about it, was really stupid. Well, I mean, let's be honest here. It was a real stupid plan. I'll even uh, put another card up for that as well. So that way you guys can watch that if you don't know who Silver Quill is or anything like that. He has a voice of a manatee. He's amazing. And manatees are beautiful creatures. I don't care what anyone says. And so are narwhals. Narwhals are like unicorns of the sea. People ask me all the time, Hey Magnus! What are the what are the current what are the real life unicorns? Manatees or not manatees? Narwhals. Narwhals are the unicorns. That if you stick a donkey with a plunger on its head, then it's a unicorn. It's a smelly unicorn, but it's a unicorn nonetheless. Let's be honest here. Let's not let's not judge unicorns on their smell ratio here. Pegasi though, Pegasi, I, I'm I'm stumped. Okay, I don't I don't know. We'll have to do some crossbreeding, cross pollination of. Horses with birds. That'd be a weird, freaky thing. That'd just be weird. I don't think I'd like that. I don't think I want to see that. Oh gosh, the image is popping in my head. Oh no, why, why, brain? Why would you do that? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm uh, just going to ramble on for however long we've got. Let's see. Oh, we're already at 13 minutes. That's not bad. But, yeah, um, one thing I do want to, uh, run by you guys is, uh, I want topics to talk about. 
Because in videos like these where it's kind of slower, there's not a whole lot for me to do or talk about, and there's not a whole lot of game going on where I'm just kind of just sitting here like, look at this, I'm swiping a ball for a hoity-toity. And come on, hoity, I know you're a fashion pony, but come on, man, you're not even going my speed. Get on my level. But uh, anyway, I want topics to talk about. So if you guys have an interesting topic you want to hear my thoughts on or whatever, then uh, yeah, just comment down below on this video and I'll talk about it next week. Also, for those of you wondering, because, oh, good gravy, I've been getting a bunch of these. When's the next Feed the Bronies? 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 I get it! I get it, guys. I really do. Um, basically, the writing is finally finished on that episode. I'm going to actually make a little snippet before the video, um, or before the episode premieres, as to why it took so long um, to make. And... All that, but the writing's done. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time right now to film it because it takes me a day to make it. Basically, the process to making a Feed the Bronies um, episode, depending on how intricate I get and how special and how many special effects I use, um, it can take as long as I get up about nine o'clock in the morning and I stay up till four o'clock the next day um, making it. And so it's a bit of a process and it takes a long time. And recently, I've just not had the time to go about doing that. Uh, so that's why the episode's been delayed for so long. It's not that the writing's not done or anything like that. It's just I don't have time. I've been trying to chip away at it, um, recording stuff. But the problem is I have to record everything at once so that, it, you know, I am in the same mood uh, when I'm recording. So it all sounds, you know, coherent and the same. So I, I just don't have the time, especially when I uh, have to maintain a Let's Play channel on top of that and have to upload content just about every day, it, it gets hard. So that's why it's been delayed for so long. I, I know you guys want it and I'm sorry that it's not been around, but just bear with me. Just Just bear with me. I know you guys want it. I want to give it to you. Just uh, let me do my thing. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Alright, let's see what this crescent pony does. Is he a pegasus or a unit? No, he's not. A oh, he's a pegasus. Huh. I thought he was an earth pony. Gotta be honest. He looked like an earth pony guy. Wait a minute. Is that the guy from... Uh... uh Sonic Rainbow? I think it is. I think it is. The Cloudsdale contestant, um, who I think went before Rainbow Dash? I think it was like contestant number 12, maybe? Oh, man, I don't know I remember that. I don't think he was contestant number 12, but I think he was a contestant. He was a contestant, because he made me think of Doctor Who. So I was like, oh, it's Doctor Who, except he's a Pegasus. Wow, regeneration's a funny thing. That's gotta be weird. Think about it, the Doctor's like, uh, Earth Pony right now. Imagine if he had to be a Pegasus. It's like, oh, I've got these, uh, wing things. How do I work them? All right. boop 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 all right, Pawn 3, how much you got? We're slowly grinding away. We need to get more ponies, though. Like, I need to, you know, get more ponies. Because I'm starting to slow down. And I don't like that. I don't like one bit. Because, like, I don't have enough ponies to, uh, make all the stores run at maximum efficiency. You know what's sad? I can't remember what mod does, like, for a living. I can't remember. I have to, go, I have to need to go rewatch that episode, because I don't remember what she does. I know she's like a... No, what's that... What's that word called? Paleontologist? I think that... No, is that... Is that no, that's not the right thing, is it? 
No, that can't be it. Rock Doctor! Let's go with that. Rock Doctor. But I, I don't... I don't know if that's actually what she is or not. I can't remember. Off the top of my head. I need to go really look at that. I need to fact check myself. Oh, Rainbow's finally going to get to five stars. Yeah! Let's go Rainbow Dash. But yeah, I, I hope we see more of Mod. It seems like we probably will. I don't, I don't know. Because, like, she made an appearance in Rainbow Rocks, which she didn't need to. Like, we haven't seen, um... Oh, uh, what was her other sister's names? Granite? Um, I think her name was Granite... Granite and Marble. Yeah. We haven't seen those two, ever. Except for, you know, in the flashback scene. So, where the heck are they? We've only seen Maud. But I gotta say, if her other sisters are as awesome as Maud is, then uh, I'll be a very happy camper. Because, um... From what my understanding is, uh... Going by the, uh... Oh, what is she called? What's her name? Um... I always know her, but I can't think of her name right now. <laughs> Um, GM Bro, GM Bro, there we go. Uh, the GM Bro novels, uh, apparently they either still live with the family and run the farm with her parents, or they were just visiting with her parents, I, I don't quite know. Um, because, like, in, uh, the GM Bro book, which I liked a lot, uh, what was it called, Pony Rock Party or something like that? I don't remember the title off the top of my head, but, um, basically, without spoiling anything, uh, Pinky's parents show up, and, uh, you know, one thing leads to another, and we meet, like, we get a good idea of what her parents' personalities are like, and we also get, you know, a glimpse into, uh, uh, well, I guess not a glimpse into her sisters, because their sisters don't really talk. So we still don't get any idea on what they're like, either. So, yeah, basically they're just blank slates. Get it? It's a rock joke! Oh man, I need to invest in a face cam sometimes. Because <laughs> I make the stupidest faces. I don't know, people brought up brought that up to me, like, they've been like, Magnus, you should totally get a face cam, and it's like, why? I, I don't understand why you want to look at my ugly mug while I play games. It doesn't make sense to me, because when I'm playing a game, I'm usually focused on the game, not so much looking at a camera. Because usually looking at a camera, you'll get yourself killed. You know, so I don't, I don't understand that. I, I, I've never really been one to understand that. Especially since uh, my channel, I try to focus more on, like, showcasing the game than really my personality. I mean, my people like my personality, I guess, for one reason or another. I don't really know why. Because uh, I, I personally find myself annoying as all oh, get out. <laughs> but whatever, you know, people have different, you know, likes and dislikes when it comes to people. So I'm okay with that. People like me, that's a, that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just don't, I don't know, I don't get the whole face cam thing. Like, uh, for certain games it makes sense. Like a horror game, I can understand that. But, like a game like this, uh, not so much, because I'm just looking down at a tablet. That's pretty much it. I'm just looking at it. Not even really paying attention to, like, anything else around me. Holy cow, oh. Speaking of things I'm not paying attention to, our timer's going off, and I'm just sitting here uh, bouncing a ball. All right, give me a sec, timer. I'm gonna turn you off eventually. Just give me a sec. I gotta bounce this ball with what's her face, Cantrilotnian, horse, pony thing. There we go. Okay, boop. All right, and that about does it. Yay! We're almost up to two stars for her. Awesome. Good for her. Good for her. All right, anyway, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Milo Pony game from GameLoft. If you want to go download it, the link in the description down below. I I haven't checked and seen if I uh, 
link to the Apple versions either. I should probably do that. That's probably an important thing, considering, you know, everyone plays on Apple. Except for me. And I'm sure a lot of other people as well. But, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic pony Riffic day. I'm Ultramatic64. Remember, don't feel those Paris sprites. And as always, happy gaming. If you want to add me on Game Off Live, it's Ultramag64, all one word. Speaking of which, hang on a minute. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna gift everybody, because I love you all so greatly. But anyway, guys, I'll check you guys on the flip side. Bye!